What's up, everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life, and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams, and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1k ladder because we're only 20 subscribers away ladies and gentlemen from 1100 subscribers i want to thank each and every one of you for being patient while i was away uh at the cancer center i go to in tampa florida uh for not my treatment but it was mostly just like mri scans and stuff um but three and a half hours in an mri machine you think of some good video ideas and you think about life and uh <laughs> luckily our von hippel disease aka vhl uh is well, we're kicking its ass, and I think that that's amazing. My kidney and my pancreas tumor both shrank. Everything else stayed the same. We don't need no surgery. We are good, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you so much for all your love and support and spirit bomb prayers. I really do appreciate it. So I want to talk about the market today with the pre-sales of Photon Hypernova up and about. I want to tell you all right out of the gate. Do not touch these pre-sales. It is very rare in Yu-Gi-Oh! where pre-sales work in your favor. Um, I mean, I can't even think back to a recent time where it worked in your favor uh, or just in, in general, like even my favor. Like I can't say I've ever bought something on pre-sale and like it went up. Like it just doesn't happen very often. I think the buy steals were lower on pre-sale than they were once they came out. Um, but I think besides that, we haven't really seen anything as of recent uh, that has really just made a huge impact and like went up a massive amount from when it was on presale. So I wanted to talk about that here because as y'all know, I am doing a Photon Hypernova case opening. I was able to get mine for $750. If you can get a case of Hypernova for anywhere between 600 to 750 bucks, you made money out of the gate because honestly, if you're paying like, God, $73 for a, for a booster box, like that's not good value. Like you're going to lose a lot of money, ladies and gentlemen. Like these starlights too, like they really dropped the ball on the starlights. Like they didn't make triple tactics thrust a starlight, which was really shocking to me. Like they made gold pride captain carry a starlight, which this should not be 250. It should be a hundred bucks tops. The tri brigade from what I've heard from some tri brigade players is not actually that good. $280. You're probably looking at like 150. A rise heart as a starlight is really cool. I think that they knocked it out of the park with this mirror. Jade's not the best thing in the world, but like, I'm not going to complain if I pull it. I'd rather pull the Arise Heart, though, because you already know your boy's playing Cash Tira. But, like, for regular sale price, I think the Arise Heart is going to be, like, 300 The Mirror Jade's going to maybe be 300 to 350 because people like they're branded. Um, Cash Tira Theosis, this is the Emergency Teleport. This shouldn't be $60. This should be, like, 30 Arise Heart should not be 45 It should be, like, 25 Tier Elements, Cash Tira, honestly, I would argue is, like, the worst tier element. Like, it's... It's cool, like you can play on the opponent's turn. Like it's basically another Hoff Fennis in that regard. But at $25, like no, this card should be like 10. Gravekeeper's Inscription, again, it's gonna be like a side deck card, like 10 to $15. Um, Cash Tiro Rise Heart Ultra should be like 10 to 15. A Rise Heart's uh, Secret Rares should be like 25 to 30 because like it's decent in the mirror match and like most decks can also just play it in general. Uh, Gigantic Champion Sargus, think like 10 bucks, think 15 is too much. Big Welcome Labyrinth at 24 like, no, it should be, like, 10 to $15. Like, you see how what I mean by, like, all this stuff being inflated? Like, even Weight Bridge. Weight Bridge is, like, not very good unless you're playing Labyrinth. This is, like, a $5 secret rare, like, honestly. Um, yeah, a lot of these prices are just inflated. Your best bet, if you really want to go in on Hypernova, if you want to play Cash Tira and you already have your Fenrir's and Unicorns, your best bet is to get sealed product anywhere from 600 to $700. Speaking of Cash Tira, I also want to talk about Darkwing Boo Boo Stain. Um, these prices are atrocious. $92 on boxes, $24 on the Ultra Unicorns. Uh, get those while you can. Fenrir's have dropped. They were at $70s, ladies and gentlemen. Remember that. Now these are at $58. Uh, look, they are slowly going back up. Uh, yeah, you're looking at $59 right now and then up to $60. These were 70s. If you want to play Cash Tira's, 
get your stuff now. Like seriously, I'm not kidding. You need to get your stuff right now because if you wait any longer, then the ship is going to sail. I do not see this stuff getting hit on the next ban list. Also, World Sea Dragons Atlantis is at six. Last time we talked about it, it was at fours and I told y'all to pick up a copy while they're cheap because I feel like it's just a good card to have. You should be doing that. Hello. Uh, amazing Dog Doodoo Stain. Uh, no, Amazing Defenders was Amazing Dildos. I'm sorry. Um, $76 on Pearly Collector's Rares. That's garbage. One for one, $50. Sure. Uh, $60 on Makonko. So here's the thing with Makonko. I said that the stuff was kind of trash. Um, I'm still sticking to that. Like, it's not very good. Uh, it's good for locals. Uh, if you're playing a Warrior Toolbox deck, it's pretty good. Um, but you really shouldn't be paying 60 for Collector's Rare. I would say if you could pick this up for 40 then, you know, you're you're off to the races. Um, Makongo overall, though, I don't think is very expensive. Like, if you're not going for the CRs, like, it's not super expensive. Yeah, like, we're going to page two here. Like, look, uh, Aberesk is 1047. Uh, Uheim is 28. Even though that is a little bit inflated, I still think that that's, honestly, that's a lot better than shit, fucking Photon Hypernova presales. Although I think anything is better than Hypernova presales. Uh, also, I wanted to pull this up because I pulled this up while I was uh, gone. Um, so if you go from high to low, uh, Beaver Warrior Speed Duel decks are actually the highest Beaver Warrior. Now, if you go to Beaver Warrior Starter Deck Yugi's, look at this. So you go to First Edition. Near Mint, Starter Deck, Yugi Beaver Warriors. You're looking at over $3 for a fucking Beaver Warrior. That is insane, ladies and gentlemen. $3 for a Beaver Warrior out of Starter Deck Yugi. I never thought I would see the day when Beaver Warrior was $3. I get that like it's an old school starter deck, but man, that's that's redonkulous, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I um, also want to look at Magnificent Mavens. Um, I don't really think there's much moving around here in the market. Yeah, you're looking at over $500 for Dark Magician Girl. Uh, 750 for the Secret Pharaoh's Rare. Blue Eyes is are still out of stock. Triple Tactic Talents are 150 Change of Hearts over 100 Ultra Pharaohs or Lightning Storms are 140s. We need a common Lightning Storm, ladies and gentlemen. Um, outside of, like, the different rarities, like, I think everything kind of falls off. Talents are 13s. Imperms are 6s. Evenlies are 9s. Remember, this is getting a reprint in the Trap Trick Structure Deck. If you need Talents and Imperms, like, get them now. Because I think Talents are only going to go to the moon. Apollosas are 3s. You have no reason not to have Apollosa. BLSs are 294 basically 3 bucks. Like, you have no reason not to have these cards. Like, a lot of this stuff is cheap. Which which is really nice. Look at this. Skill Dreams for $1.90. If you didn't pick them up from the Dark World Structure Deck, which even I said not buy, just get the Hollows. For, they're 2 bucks a piece. Like, what you waiting for, pimp? Uh, Sky Striker stuff is pennies on the dollar. Like, this this is sexy. Like, this is what you call a good time, ladies and gentlemen. This this set was fantastic. Uh, let's see here. What, what's going on in Structure Deck Dark World? It, has this stuff fallen off? Yeah, it has. $8 on the Structure Decks. $1.50 on the Common... Skill drains, that, that's, that's all that we need to see here. Uh, let's see, Battles of Legend, Crystal Crap. So over $600 for Exodia. $570 for the access code. $180 for these um, Super Polys. $144 on the Yada Garasus. Everything is really holding. Like really, the only things that have really been sort of disgusting in value is just the Photon Hypernova pre-sales. What's going on in Yu-Gi-Oh! in general? What What's leading the charge? $1,500 for blue eyes? These things fell off. Look at this drop. $3,200 and they just drop. You're looking at $1,500, well, $25 shipping. So $1,525. After this one's gone, they're up to $2,900, ladies and gentlemen. And they cap out at basically four grand. What happened to the collector's market? Like this has dropped off. Oh my God. It, honestly, if you want a platinum blue eyes, yeah, the, the, now's your chance, Sugar Boo Bear. Like $1,500? That's only $500 more than what it was listed for when it originally came out. I might pick that up, actually. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, uh, that, that's that's pretty good. Uh, Metamorphosis uh, Super Rares are over $700. do not touch these. Maxi Ultimers. Everybody thinks that Maxi is going to be in the Trap Trick Structure deck. No, it's not. Maxi can never come back. I might even make a video on that, why Maxi can never come back. So, check this out, right? Phantom Rage uh, Booster Box Case First Edition. This is what had the uh, Starlight Rare Zeus. These things are $800. $25 shipping. They cap out at $1,500. I remember when these things were 700 
if you want to hold on to old sets and like you don't want to break the bank and you kind of want to pay like a case value, like let's just say for example, like you don't want Hypernova for whatever reason, honestly go for Phantom Rage. Like as an investment, I'm telling you, you buy this for $800, hold it for a year and it could very well be over $1,000 to $1,600. Because again, the older that this stuff gets, the more value that it's going to get. Uh, last but not least, kind of want to look at a couple other things here. Ghost or Dark Magicians are still insane. That there's so many damaged ones on the market. That was insane to me. Uh, DD Crow Starlights are still over 450 bucks. Black Rose Dragon, if you remember, I actually didn't film this opening, but I bought a Lightning Overdrive case, and I pulled a Starlight Rare Book of Lunar Eclipse, um, and I also pulled a Black Rose Dragon. And for Near Mint First Edition, they're finally going up. They're at $540. After this one's gone, they're up to $550. So if you're holding on to Black Rose Dragons, you're you're making that money back, pimp, slowly but surely. Give this about another year, and it'll probably be about $800, $900. So guys, let me know what you think about the market down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. It feels so good to be back making videos. Hopefully we get a ban list sometime soon, and I will see you in the next video.